Have you ever bought something that looked amazing, only to realize it's all style, no substance? Yeah, me too. That's why this time I took my time. I tested this hub. I pushed it. And now I can finally tell you, this thing might actually be worth the hype. Stick around. Because what I discovered while using this Atechi Mac Mini M4 hub could save you time, money, and a whole lot of tech headaches. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm glad you're here. If you're not, you already know we don't mess around with boring specs or paid praise. I'm going to tell you exactly what this hub does, who it's for, and what you should really expect once it's on your desk. So, first impressions. You open the box and wow, it feels premium. The aluminum shell? Smooth. Solid. It feels like something Apple themselves would make. Minimalist design cool to the touch, and it lines up under the Mac Mini so perfectly it almost looks invisible. But you and I both know that looking good isn't the same as being good. So I put it to work. I plug in a 4K monitor, two USB accessories, a wired keyboard, external SSD, Ethernet cable, and ran some pretty heavy workflows. I wanted it to crack under pressure, honestly. But it didn't. It just worked. The Thunderbolt 4 ports? Super fast. File transfers were flying. I dropped a 40 gigabytes video project onto my SSD and watched it move in seconds. The HDMI output? Clean, crisp visuals with zero lag, even when I mirrored displays. And the Ethernet port gave me the stability I didn't know I was missing until I plugged it in and boom, instant speed boost. It was smooth, quiet, almost boring in the best way. Because let's be honest, when your gear does its job right, you shouldn't notice it. You should just get stuff done. And that's what this hub made possible. It gave me back headspace. No more messing around with tangled adapters or switching cables between devices just to get through a single project. Now, if you're wondering what makes this stand out from cheaper hubs, it's not just the design or speed. It's the way it works with your Mac Mini, not against it. Everything feels native, seamless. There's a certain magic when a product is clearly designed with Apple's workflow in mind. And this is one of those rare accessories that actually feels like part of the family. Now, before I make it sound too perfect, let me be real with you. It's not flawless. I found myself wishing it had one or two more USB-A ports. Just because, well, some of us still use older peripherals. And if you're a photographer or someone who works with SD cards often, yeah, you'll need a separate reader. No SD slot here, which feels like a small miss. But honestly, that's about it. And for most users, especially creative professionals, remote workers, or anyone who's tired of dealing with tech that doesn't match their pace, this hub is more than enough. It's fast, it's reliable, and most importantly, it doesn't get in your way. That's what I've come to appreciate most. I didn't expect to care about a hub this much. I really didn't. But after using it every day, watching it handle everything I throw at it without so much as a stutter, I started noticing how much easier my workflow became, how much faster I got through edits, how much more focused I was because I wasn't constantly troubleshooting or hunting for the right dongle. And that's the thing. You don't buy something like this just because it looks nice. You buy it because you're building a space that makes your work feel effortless. A space where your tools disappear into the background and let you focus on creating, building, connecting. So is it perfect? No. But is it powerful, polished, and purposeful? Yeah. And if you're deep in the Apple ecosystem like I am, this hub fits right in, not just physically but functionally. Thanks for watching. If this helped you at all, give it a like. Maybe subscribe if you're feeling generous, and let me know in the comments what kind of setup you're working with right now. I love hearing what other people are building, and if you've got questions, I'm always down to help. Until next time, stay sharp, stay curious, and build a workspace that works for you.